Angry families of missing Russian soldiers defy Putin. Since President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, the Russian Federation has sent hundreds of thousands of Russians to battlefields that have become charnel houses. Now the mothers and wives of Russian military personnel, whose fate is unknown, have become some of the most vocal critics of Russia's war effort, thus publicly challenging Putin and the authoritarian system he has built, writes the Wall Street Journal. Grief and anger are intensified by the Russian government's lack of transparency regarding soldiers who are missing or presumed dead. Groups have emerged on Russian social media with tens of thousands of relatives and friends of missing soldiers sharing information in hopes of finding out what happened, the publication says. All this casts doubt on the Kremlin's claims that Russians support the war in Ukraine and are ready to sacrifice their loved ones for it. While the tensions do not yet pose a serious threat to Putin, they could eventually develop into wider dissent. The Kremlin has banned domestic coverage of the war and is not reporting any official data on the soldiers missing in action. The last time the Russian Defense Ministry provided public data on the number of its soldiers killed in Ukraine in September 2022, when it was reported that 5,937 people were killed. The US estimates that more than 300,000 Russian troops were wounded or killed, the Wall Street Journal writes. Sergei Krivenko, head of the Russian human rights organization Citizen.Army.Pravo, which advocates for the interests of Russian soldiers, said the military is not prepared for such a volume of losses and does not have special units responsible for evacuating fallen soldiers from the battlefield. There is also an opinion that dead fighters are abandoned so as not to pay compensation to their families. French military already present in Donbass, French journalist Christelle Niant, a military correspondent from France living and working in the Donetsk, is convinced that the French military is already taking part in hostilities in Donbass on the Kiev government's side. I'm almost sure that there are French soldiers on Ukrainian battlefields because it would be impossible for the untrained Ukrainian military to operate Caesar self-propelled howitzers, she told TASS in an interview. She added that the Ukrainian Armed Forces is drafting people with no military experience as part of its mobilization campaign and sends them to the front line after just two or three weeks of training. Effectively, it is impossible to operate a self-propelled howitzer after a three-week training. This means that someone else with much greater experience is using them. Clearly, those should be people with military background and experience of using such weapons, in other words, French career officers or former soldiers. That is why I believe that French soldiers are already on the battlefield, Niant said. In her opinion, France has been sending its military to Ukraine in small groups to mitigate possible political risks for the current French leadership. At this point, sending a large group will be a major risk for French President Emmanuel Macron. If they perish all at once, he will have to take the consequences, she said, adding that it is a lot easier to find a plausible public explanation for occasional deaths. That is why I think that he will not send the military in thousands, the journalist added. Otherwise, how would the French government explain to thousands of families where their loved ones are? In an interview with the British magazine The Economist, French President Emmanuel Macron acknowledged it might be possible to consider sending troops to Ukraine in case of Kiev's request if Russian forces break through the front line. Russian presidential spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters that these speculations were an unprecedented new round of tension. If the French military appears in the conflict zone in Ukraine, it will inevitably become a target of the Russian army. The spokeswoman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russia, Maria Zakharova, said this. If the French appear in the conflict zone in Ukraine, they will inevitably become targets of the Russian armed forces. It seems to me that Paris understands this well, she said.